Hello, I'm Nick Schultz with The American Magazine, the magazine of the American Enterprise Institute. I'm pleased today to has, have as a special guest uh, Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels. Governor Daniels, thank you for joining us. Hi, Nick. Us. Um, I know a lot of people would want to hear uh, if you're going to run for president, but I'm not going to ask you about that. Um, it's a good start. Uh, instead, I want to talk to you about your governing philosophy. And uh, we are a public policy institute, so I want to ask you about your approach to public policy. Uh, in an essay in the Wall Street Journal recently, you described events of the past year and said, quote, the nation is not safe from crony capitalism. What did you mean by that, and what can be done about it? I didn't, I didn't mean anything more complicated than the fact that the federal government, in a very sudden way, has become much more involved, uh, not merely in regulating or trying to steer the activities of the private sector, but actually owning, managing, and um, controlling them uh, directly. Uh, in a rather breathtaking succession of events. Uh, they uh, took over large segments of the banking, housing, automobile uh, industries, and um, moved on to things like student loans and so forth. Now healthcare, uh, in almost as intrusive a way. And um, uh, you know, this is always to be deeply uh, suspected, not just as a matter of um, economic progress and and growth. Um, the government is notorious for making uh, political as opposed to job creating and wealth creating uh, economically rational decisions. But it, there's also a lot of injustice that comes with it. You know, Dr. Friedman taught us a long time ago that the, the time to worry about big business is when it gets in cahoots with big government. And we've seen that in the last year in a way that we really had not, uh, I don't think, in American history. And, and you in, in Indiana push back against this, right? Or at least in a, the bondholders. In a tiny way, um, simply trying to defend the rule of law, which ultimately was successful. But um, you know, people are human. And to, uh, to give uh, people in, uh, in government the sort of power that, that they, uh, at least for the moment, have in some of these businesses is to, it's to ask too much that they would not uh, substitute politics for good business judgment or the the kind of choices that um, people operating under conditions of economic freedom would make.